Hello YouTube, this is Skip, coming to you live, straight out of Real Hot Sickers Aquatic Kennels. In this video, I'm going to share with you some scenes from my visit to Steve's Monster Fish and Cichlids Home Aquariums. But first, let me share with you the reason why I went to Steve's in the first place, and that was to pick up some black nasty Hadiensis fry. In addition, I have a confession to make. I missed the opportunity to record Steve in his own words explaining his method of keeping Hadiensis. You see, I got caught up in how huge his pair of Hadiensis are and forgot to press the record button when he was talking about the way he feed and keep his black nasties. But before we check out this awesome pair and the rest of Steve's monster fish, I would like for you to direct your attention to the description area below this video where you will find links to purchase Real Hard Cichlids books and other merchandise. Thank you. One more thing. Please check out Marble Gobi channel on YouTube to see more of what Steve has to offer. Now I have been buying Hadiensis fry from Steve for years now and he has always stated that he does the polar opposite of what the norm when it comes to this species. So let's get into the fish facts. Number one. What do I mean the polar opposites? Just what I stated. Steve Hadiensis diet consists of mainly meaty protein foods such as blood worms and shrimp. Plus he stated that he feeds his fish twice a day, sometimes three times a day. Now, if you keep Hadiensis or research this species, you know general information states to stay away from high protein diet and keep a regimen of veggie foods available to this fish. Not to mention, certainly do not feed them more than twice a day. You have to cut back on their diet, so says the general information, to keep them from catching bloat. So I'm not saying that there's a right and wrong in this situation here, but what I'm saying is Steve has a very unique take on how he takes care of his Hadiens is black nasty, and he has been doing it for years successfully. So he definitely knows what he's talking about. And it's something that you may want to look into if you keep Hadiensis. So let's not take all your time with this jibber jabble and fish facts, and let's show you some fish. That's a lot of fry. Turn around, man. And you know I had got one from you. It was a male. And that joke was all black. Yeah. Like the female. I just got rid of a black so uh, peed, man. A black cat. Not too long ago. And man. The said he went out of town and they they died. It's like everybody I nobody I wanted to see what they turned into, but nobody kid. Yeah, That's why I broke man. down. I got I'm about to keep me like four pairs out that batch I got in there. I ain't never making that mistake again. I said, man, that joker was black, just like that thing. Then I gave, man. you know, I, uh, Wendell had his brother. Yeah, the Wendell told me it came. That one told me that one died. I'm talking about his brother from when I first got, got him. him. I had him and I had the black one. Oh. Remember when you, when you came, I had him, which was the light one, and I had the black male. Yeah, yeah. I wound up selling one. Yeah, that was a while man. back. That yeah. was like a year ago, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, about a year and a half. Um, yeah, 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 a little, yeah. And I wound oh, up Oh, yeah, because I remember Dale was like, yeah, I got one. Yeah, Steve I wound said, up oh. selling with his brother. He ain't got that no more. Dang. So I said, I ain't doing it no more. That batch in there. You have to admit, Steve technique really works for him. Look at how huge his female is. She may be the biggest female I've ever seen. And the male looks like a cruise ship. So now let's check out their offspring and Steve feeding his monster fish collection. Gobies, wolffish, and more.
80 inches. Nice and healthy. Woo! My man Steve be doing a damn thing. I'm telling you. I wish we could say it's a little dark on my camera, but uh, yeah, it don't matter. Let me turn the light on. Yeah. I just turned the light on. Everything over here got pre dry. That's all I can say. <laughs> Everything over here. Everybody talking about, oh, I got killers. No, these are, these, these are killers. These are killers. This man definitely got the fish fever and the fish test. Hold on, hold on, look at that. Look at this massive. Man, y'all got this. Look at my arm compared to this. Look at my. The girth on this fish is massive. You come over this man house, you wouldn't even expect to see nothing like this. This is crazy. This is crazy. Have a goby. Hey man, this goby right here outgoing, man. I ain't never seen one just come up to the. I mean, to the light and everything like that. This joke. This joke let me get up on her. Oh my God, look at the detail in that joke. Look at the detail. Pure monster. Look at the detail in it. Ten years old. Ten years old. And I didn't do what I was someone involved in. This question. The search for the killer grows more and more desperate. Now look at that one. Steve, loving some predatory fish. I'm telling you that right now. Oh, what are you doing, man? Happy. Don't forget to check me out on the Ambassador of Aquatic Life YouTube channel. This skip, I'm out.